your original question about 2046 is that whoever the civilization was that designed the Mayan long count did it with a computer because you could have never done it otherwise to calculate the next impact event and know that it was going to be, excuse me, 1,872,000 turnings of the sky divided by 13 is, is <coughs> 13 bactons, each one being the ancient calendrical cycle, the yuga. They were called yugas during the pre-flood pre -flood world. Ancient, the Dravidians and the Hindus and ancient Sanskrit writings, they, they preserved this element. But all the yugas were divisible by 144,000. Some of them were 216,000. Some of them were 432,000. Some of them were 864,000 turnings of the sky. It was only over a thousand years later that, that Hindu scholars and people that were trying to translate a lot of these older Sumerian and Akkadian records mistranslated these gigantic numbers, which were called shars. These, these shars, Zechariah Sitchin was guilty of this as well because he followed the research of Barosis, but there were critics in the Alexandrian library and scholars who were telling people that this isn't true. This isn't 432,000 day or years. Anunnaki did not live 46,000 years each. It's a crazy. But the scholars in the 3rd and 2nd century BC were totally ignored. Modern authors like Graham Hancock and Robert Bobble and Andy Collins, you know, they go with the mistranslations. This sensationalism is very popular. But it's not true. The shars from ancient records were shown over a hundred years ago by Sumerian scholars who were, Alexander Heidel was one of them, Samuel Noah Kramer. Uh, these guys were original, George Smith. They knew that shar was simply a unit of measurement. It never meant year. Zechariah Sitchin claims it means years and just stretched this chronology out to an impossible length of time. Like the Sumerian long, like the Sumerian king list. The Sumerian king list has been very misunderstood. It is actually a patriarchal document gloating over the fact that they had overcome the matriarch. There were, there, what we have today is not the original copies. There's like 11 or 12 different copies of the Sumerian king list. It's not the, the original. The original involved a matriarch. She was the eighth. She they took her out in the later copies in, in Akkad and Babylonia, especially the Amorites, the Westerners, when they rewrote these materials. The originals, though, we, we have found many fragments that shadow what the originals were talking about. But all of them say the same, basically the same thing, that the eight kings before the flood, only seven of them are, are ever named. But there's, but there's a hint that there was an eighth ruler, and it's always, always female. Now, same thing is found in the book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation, the seven kings emerge, and they start the beast kingdom, and they support the Antichrist and the false prophet. But Revelation record is very clear that there's an eighth, but no details are given about the eighth. It just mentions that there's an eighth king. So, in the Sumerian king list, we find that seven kings ruled 241,200 shars. Zechariah Sitchin wants you to believe that's 241,200 years, making each king live for like 90,000 years. That's ridiculous. It's always been ridiculous because shar was unit of measurement and it is only 241,200 turnings of the stars because only days were counted back then, which means under the 360-day vapor canopy draconian year, we're only talking about seven kings ruling for 670 years, and that matches the Dragon King chronology of ancient China. It's precise. So 2046, to derive that number like like David Davidson when he when he's when he when he measured the base diagonals of the Great Pyramid and put together the Anno Anno Pyramid chronology and determined that it was going to end in 2045. He's absolutely correct. The only reason he said 2045 is because he started his entire chronology in 440 40 BC, in the year 4040 BC, but he was off by a year. It was 4039 BC. 
that little insignificant alteration, that one year, changes his output from the base diagonal measurements from 2045 to 2046, the same as the Maya long counts 13 Bactons. So, Mario Reading put out a phenomenal book, a phenomenal book, showing that Mikel de Nostradam, you know as Nostradamus, actually codified his prophecies in a date index. Mario Reading's book is fascinating, but Mario Reading committed a cardinal sin. He wanted certain things to be true, and he, and, and he went against his own date index to make predictions for the year 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, when Nostradamus wasn't talking about those years at all, and nor could Mario Reading show that Nostradamus was even isolating those years using the same date index that he discovered. But he did it, and his book lost credibility. But if you follow not Mario Reading's date index, The Lost Prophecies of Nostradamus, fascinating. If you follow his date index for after 2020, it's awesome how accurate it is. Same thing Mother Shipton said, Great Sky Dragon will come one century after a world war. Well, one century after a world war is 2040, or you could be, could be translated as 2045. But it's, it's hers was more general. Nostradamus is what isn't. I provide that in my book, Nostradamus and the Planets of Apocalypse, and I show you how Nostradamus has like 18 quatrains that are dedicated just to the year 2046 and how we derive those dates. Anybody can see how how, how Nostradamus codified it because I, I actually cite and show the material in Mario Reading's books. I also show Cesar, Cesar Ramadi's research. Nostradamus wrote several letters to King Henry and his own son. And the things that he said in those letters helps you understand how to, how to translate the quatrains of Nostradamus. When it comes to Nostradamus, I don't claim to be an expert, but my bibliography does cite 14 different translations of the quatrains of Nostradamus. I was that fascinated and thorough in my research. I don't, in my own book on Nostradamus, I cite all of them. And I even show where, where some of them deviate in their interpretations on some of the quatrains because those deviations in some instances are substantial. So one word, you know, when somebody's translating an, uh, an, a Latin or in French text into German, it doesn't always come out the same as when you read a French tran transliteration into English. So I provide multiple different perspectives, but in the end, we still have the exact dates, 2046.